I'm sure we're all glad we're alive, man, so God bless. U.S. Airways to Charlotte crash landed in the Hudson River shortly after takeoff from New York's LaGuardia Airport. Less than two minutes up in the air, it was a big boom. Uh, everybody smelled smoke. The captain came on and says, look, we're going down, um, brace for impact. It was just moments into the flight when the plane's pilot radioed air controllers. He had lost both engines after hitting what may have been a flock of birds. As we got lower and lower, the pilot said brace for uh, impact. Everyone kind of looked at each other and said some prayers. You know, I said about five our fathers, five Hail Marys, and uh, we hit the water. Witnesses watched as the plane began a gradual descent, reviving memories for some of September 11th. It's coming down, 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 and just right in the water. Yeah. We thought it was going to veer in and hit a building, actually. It was pretty scary. The plane then skimmed across the water 100 yards or more before coming to a rest just off Midtown Manhattan. Right past the piers, and it just, no smoke, but it just landed. When it landed, threw up a whole bunch of water. These photos show dozens of passengers huddled on the jet's wings waiting for rescue. Many New Yorkers could only watch from the windows of their office buildings, including CBS News. As I looked out and I saw the life rafts come out, sort of open up from the plane, I grabbed the a pair of binoculars and was able to see people standing on the aircraft wings. They seemed pretty calm. It wasn't so chaotic as I would expect it to be. Nearby, commuter ferries pulled up within minutes, pulling aboard passengers and crew. Rescuers face three more challenges, a sinking airplane, frigid water, and strong currents pulling the jet downriver. They did a phenomenal job getting everybody out. In an emergency, the Airbus jet is designed to fly on one engine to a nearby airport. But this seems to be the rare case when the plane lost both engines. It is an extraordinarily rare event that both engines go out. It's not so unusual that a single engine go up, goes out or you get hit and your windscreen gets cracked, but to lose both engines is a one in a million shot. Many of the passengers are being treated at hospitals in New York and New Jersey for injuries, including shock and possible hypothermia. What do you need a former military pilot once told me that any time you can get off a plane safely, it's a good landing. Today, the pilot of that U.S. air jet made a very good landing. Katie? All right, Randall, thanks, Tim. Randall, thanks very much.